What's going on you guys? Slim here with a new video today and today you guys I have my ban list prediction and for the first time I think ever I'm actually doing it with tier makers. So bear with me I'm kind of learning how to use this thing. I know a lot of content creators use this uh, I'm trying to use it. You got this is the format you guys wanted me to do it in So hopefully you guys enjoy be sure to smash that like button and subscribe You guys know what to do. Uh, so I took a lot of your guys' polls I asked a lot of questions and this is what I came up with that we'll go by it section by section Of course, we can have our first Limited, limited, semi-limited, unlimited, and then of course a little bit of wish list all thrown in there. So I'm not gonna waste any of your guys' time. We're gonna hop into it right now. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Be sure to check all the sponsors in the description below as well. So I will start with the forbidden. So for the forbidden, as you can see, I have just four cards. Now, one thing I'm gonna preface this video with is I don't think this list is gonna be huge. I think this list is gonna have a couple tweaks here and there and Honestly, I think it's just going to keep the format kind of in check. I don't really think there's going to be anything too ridiculous, but I did want to try to address some cards that you guys did mention uh, quite consistently that are cards that, you know, if they were if they were gone, they would maybe fix the format a little bit. I think the format's fine, but that's just me, but we'll knock it out real quick. So I do have Shifter. Shout out to GGYGO. He's always advocating for this card to get hit. I played Shifter and Flu. Obviously, I know how ridiculous this card is. I've had this card dropped against me. I've literally had to pass to it playing Dark World, other decks. I do know how powerful this card is. This card really can just turn the tide of a game immediately. It is a weird card, though, because you do have to open it. You have to have nothing else in your graveyard, too. So it is a little it is a little weird. The situation is going to be weird. But when you side it in and like literally you're going second, you literally can Shifter your opponent, and then they pass. And then it's like you literally went first again. So it's crazy. I think if this card gets dealt with, it will, uh, you know, fix a couple a couple things in the format and make decks that are scared to play a little more uh, viable as well. Next, I got the two shufflers. This was the most common thing I saw. Like literally, these two were the were had to be like public enemy number one. Tier is back in the format. These two cards are crazy. They really do manipulate everything. Being able to just turn all your turn your mills into like craziness. Uh, being able to see what your opponent's playing. Being able to shuffle back is like nuts. Like I think these two cards are crazy. I think the Ashizu cards in general were crazy upon release. Still are with these two. So I hit these, but hit them both, and I think that'll clean up uh, the things that people do not like the most in tier. I think tier with everything else using Horus and everything is, is fine. They're using it. They're finding success. I just think these two cards really are the casino cards. This what makes this deck the casino deck as they coined it. And I think that addressing these two would be something that would be more beneficial because just these mills are these random mills, this going to the casino and gambling. And then literally if you're on the receiving end of this and you're not playing tier or anything that really benefits from going to graveyard, you just watch your deck get destroyed. So it's pretty crazy. And your opponent just gains too much knowledge of what you're playing and then they can analyze what's left in your deck as well so let's hit those and calamities honestly I think now correct me if I'm wrong I think Centurion's the only deck that's playing this uh, this card is pretty crazy though it says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh so I had to put it on there this was very common too so again I do listen to the community whenever I post my uh, you know post my uh, uh, my little tabs about it to give you guys an opinion this was another popular one so I had to touch this one so uh, yeah, this card, just really crazy Floodgate. You guys will see in my wish list. I did listen to a lot of what you guys were saying about Floodgate. So this was a card I just had to put on here. And I think that's all they're really going to do. I think the bands are going to be very small. Like, it might even be smaller than this. Like, it might just be the two shufflers and call it a day. So who knows? But, yeah, I had to put this on here, though, just because this card's crazy. Going to Limited. First one I got is Runic Tip. Now, everyone knows I love Runic cards. Runic, just, Runic Engine, with the Bistials and everything, did win the last YCS. Uh, I think that they are going to touch Runic. I think Runic is, unfortunately, going to be on on the chopping block do i think they'll hit fountain not really i think that they would leave fountain at two and then possibly go after tip tip is basically any card in your deck any runic in your deck being able to get that mill one and sometimes gain knowledge just off of that one mill is crazy uh being able to see what your opponent's playing and then just this card just at any time in the game just becomes whatever you need it to be so as much as i love runic i gotta be fair i think this card is probably on the chopping block i don't even know if they would put it to two i could see it possibly just go into one and then that really does put a put a wrench in the runic engine but uh, we'll see what happens i just wanted to be fair because that's what was mentioned uh, by you guys the most they got to touch runic in some shape or form they put they, they put fountain to one and still leave tip like i think the engine is still playable you'll still find ways uh, with three tip versus if you have one tip and two uh fountain so that's just my uh preference on that and then i did bring back a dragon ruler still gonna go with title over redox uh these cards unfortunately are 10 plus years old <laughs> they are power crept they are big bodies they are cool that's about it. 
they're not game breaking anymore they're not the best deck in the format anymore again 10 plus years uh still gonna put title though here before redox because uh Redox a little more scary, but as you've seen even in Master Duel, bring them all back to one and it doesn't make a huge difference. Blaster has done nothing. Tempest has done nothing. Bring Tidal back. Maybe it'll do something? I, I really don't know. I don't personally think so, but it'd be cool to see if they do eventually bring back the Dragon Rulers because those are just really nostalgic. Uh, Kirin. I personally don't think they're going to they're gonna bring back Electromite. I'm sorry, Trip. I'm sorry, Pendulum players. I, I think if they're going to do something, they're maybe going to bring Kieran to one, just because that's like what the OZG is doing, uh, the new support and whatnot. Had to put this on here. This got mentioned a lot, too. Um, I played against Kieran. I know how broken this card is, but I think that, again, it's been power crept over the years. So card's pretty crazy, but uh, I think we can deal. We've dealt with definitely far worse. So just had to throw it in there. I could see it happening, especially with uh, new support on the horizon. And then this was my touch for Pearly. I, I didn't actually know what to put for Pearly, if I'm being honest. I um, Pearly is in a weird spot because it does do well in the NA YCSs. And then you go to Europe and it just doesn't even show out. It's weird. It's really, really weird. Um, the deck is crazy, but I think more and more players are being more prepared for Pearly. Like they're literally putting, you know, uh, the Herald of the Abyss, the XYZ Encores. They they know how to deal with, they know how to deal with Noir. I think that you get it maybe touch Pearly in some shape or form. So this was the option I had. The extra draws make the deck crazy because the deck is basically the Pearly engine, tons of hand traps, good utility cards drawing all those hand traps with your extra draws just makes it even harder for your opponent so i just thought i'd touch one of the pearly cards tell me if it, i should have put another one but that's the one i went with uh so yeah so we'll leave it at that we'll move on to the semi-limited now uh, again everyone knows semi-limited is weird uh as far as a category on the ban list but i i'm starting to come around to it more to see it's basically like a testing zone it's basically like a small like area where they're trying to uh basically where they're trying to see okay if we put a card from three to two or bring a card from one to two what's its impact in the format i think they get a lot of information from that so these are the cards i put i put fenrir uh this card is crazy one of the best cards ever printed you know in the last like honestly one of the best cards printed like ever so uh just limiting this card from three to two just to see because this card is crazy you do see it as a as a non-engine card in a lot of decks so uh limiting it, its uh, consistency and its power to two i think would be fine pankratops the most broken side deck card ever if you know you know like this card is just crazy um i think that bringing it to two though would be interesting to see because i think more players would be more uh you know would want to play it more or find room for their side in their side decks to play it this has always been one of my favorite cards and you guys did mention this a lot like putting this to two would be cool uh this card like trust me is like such a broken side deck card like drawing it like like drawing the saki one of like it really is a saki one of like you open it you know game two or game three depending on if you sided it in and you see it like you just feel like you're winning like a immediately because it's a body it forces an interrupt it can just literally summon it run over s uh, uh little knight literally just pop another card like this card is crazy so yeah I i'd like to see more of this i just like pankratops you know i think this card is just again next to fenrir these two are like these two are like the coolest cards ever these cards are like literally like the brothers of destruction they're literally like kane and undertaker like these cards are crazy and then prosperity so this was a weird one too at first, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand, you know, why is everyone going after Prosperity? Here I was playing Prosperity and Mech Knights because, you know, we need every 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 help we can get to play that, like, tier 5 deck. Like, shout out Mech Knights. I love Mech Knights. But honestly, like, when I moved uh, to playing Flu and playing uh, Prosperity, I really saw, like, how powerful this card was. And I understand that uh, it's a card that lets you dig six cards deep is crazy. A card that literally can help you see your side deck cards is crazy. And it is just a card that really is just does generate a lot of that advantage that you need. You can do all your plays and then activate this to just seal the deal is crazy it helps you find what you're missing so i can see them touching it putting it to two at first seeing how it does and then this card could even go to one i don't think this card would ever be banned but it would be interesting to see if they do touch it so i did want to put a couple cards on the semi-limited list with good reasoning and prosperity was one that i did see get mentioned a lot so a card that does all of that i could see it uh, being touched in some shape or form and then moving to the unlimited, um, there's one card on here I didn't put. It's Ancient Fairy Dragon. I forgot about the errata, but that's neither here nor there. So just put it in there in your mind if you're even playing it. But um, Prosperity, um, is that, I mean Prosperity, it desires it to, yeah, just put it back to three. I don't, again, I, I, I don't understand. This was such a weird hit when it first got hit. Like, honestly, it was just weird. Like, just put it back to three. Like, you know, yeah, you put it at two. Yeah, you activate Desires. Maybe you won't draw the one of, but, you know, 
making excuses for desires all these years later is just stupid in my opinion it's one of the best cards ever printed it's you know you you have a heavy cost for it but it is very rewarding so yeah just just put the card back at three like honestly not every deck is going to play this card even if it comes to three only certain decks that play a bunch of three ofs can play this card so yeah this card this card should definitely come back to three a storm so lightning storm again i honestly forgot it was at two if you want to know the truth and then i watch all the deck profiles i'm like why are you only playing two lightning storms like oh yeah that card is at two yeah weird um yeah put it at three like i again i don't understand this like there's so many floodgates in the game like there's so many back row you know you play against labyrinth there's like so many like back row things like yeah i know you got evenly matched but this card literally doesn't cost you your battle phase like this card literally just activate and just go like literally just go like yeah we have duster and you have the two storm and i know cyclone is good and better for you know in different matches but literally this card is just a cleaner upper and it can also touch the front row like like i think people forget this could also just pop all the monsters it's also a regeki so it's it's kind of cool too so yeah, um, I just wanted this back at three because it's just weird at two. And I think that, you know, especially if Lab starts to take off more, if it doesn't get touched. You guys see I don't have a touch here for Lab because, honestly, I don't know what you would touch in Labyrinth. I think it's really weird. Like, uh, people have mentioned you got to hit one of the welcomes. I don't know if it's the welcome Labyrinth or the big welcome Labyrinth. Let me know in the comment section below how would you touch Lab. Um, its representation is more, ben is, is like bigger in Europe. So that's why. I didn't really know where to put it. We do have some really good Labyrinth players here in NA, but I honestly just don't know where we would actually put it, uh, you know, touch it, you know, on the ban list. So that's why it's not here. Uh, diagram to three. Shout out, James. Shout out to Draco. No card to demise to three. Sorry, James. That card cannot come to three. That card is so broken. Um, but give him diagram. I, I don't think this card would make a huge difference. I'm not even going to put it at semi-limit. Just, just bring it back to three. Like, just bring it back to three. Let it... I'm trying to think, like, is it still at one? I think it's still at one. I, don't, I honestly don't even remember. Like, let the dinosaur decks try it out again. Like, the... What was it? The true... The the true Drake... It was a true Draco di, uh, dinosaurs or the diagram dinosaurs, whatever it was. Like, they had some cool synergy. Being able to pop the babies was dope. So, I'd like to see that again i don't think that that would break the format at all so got that and then this crappy this crappy super literally uh, one of the most power crap cards ever time seal oh my gosh you <laughs> yeah this card doesn't do anything i had to throw something on here like just made this card back to three no one's gonna play this it, it this card is as old as time this card is older than i am like this card is literally just like no this card's not gonna do anything so yeah i just wanted to throw a random one in there because i'm like yeah uh, what's the one card i could think of that just literally bring it back to three and no one's gonna notice it's gonna go completely completely unnoticed kind of like yada garasu did yeah time seal is basically the same thing it can go completely unnoticed this card is slow as hell so yeah just bring it back to three and the last part of the video guys the wish list um this is some of my wants but 98 percent of it is what you guys mentioned i'm gonna give you guys what you want with good reasoning i'm just gonna get mine out of the way free my boy colossus even just to one so many ways to stop it stop making excuses i don't think it's gonna happen but free colossus would be kind of cool I like to see grass come back. I just liked grass decks. Completely biased. I loved grass decks. I loved grass Minerva. It was such a fun deck. Grass Infernoids was crazy. Grass freaking Paleozoic was bomb too. Like that that was actually a pretty dope deck too. So yeah. Um those are like my wish list cards. Literally Colossus to one, grass to one. I'm not asking for grass to three. I'm just asking for it to one. It, it was a cool card when it was at one. Just saying now on to the more important stuff stuff you guys mentioned you guys mentioned wanting to hit a soul day wanting to ban a soul day because of how broken it is um this card has always been broken it never gets used properly for infer for for noble knights but it gets broken in infer noble it's broke it was broken in goki any deck that can play this line like it just does crazy things so that's why um i personally don't think it's going to get touched but i did put it on here for the wish list I've got the Feather Storm. Yeah, this card's broken. I played Flu. I know how broken this card is. I've been on the receiving end of this card. This card is insane. This card literally just says no. Just, just flat out no. Like, you thought Judgment said no. This card just says no. So we'll touch that and you guys will see a lot of this is floodgates and stuff you guys mentioned uh anti-spell fragrance i mean i haven't really seen it that much in the format but i guess because it really does again just turn off a big part of most people's decks it is a pre it is pretty crazy the fact you got to set your cards and then you got to wait I, I guess again maybe if the format shapes up or in the new format it's it sees more play maybe maybe it's a card that'll get touched eventually so i got it in there uh erad uh this is basically in my head i'm like when everyone mentioned erad i'm like i guess that's the lab hit you want because this card literally is crazy with lab like being able to just activate it turn zero and just boom everything so yeah uh, this card's pretty crazy every time this card gets activated someone loses the game usually 
I've definitely flipped this in Dark World and had it flipped on me and scooped it up immediately. So yeah, this card's pretty crazy. This card, uh, this card was insane at Nationals last year. Shout out Jeremy. Uh, yeah, this card was a uh, card was bonkers actually. So yeah, I can see that happening. Droll, it's a lingering floodgate hand trap if you want to call it that. It's a super old hand trap too. Like I'm talking Dragon Ruler days, man. Like. But, yeah, it's still just something that everyone wishes. And, I mean, honestly, being a Dark World player every once in a while, yeah, Droll does hurt. Hard to play through Droll. Way harder to play through Shifter, though. Just saying. So, Droll, I guess. I just don't. I know, like, it was mainly a main pick against Manadium in some decks. But I just I don't see it happening. I don't see them touching this specific card. But I do have it here on the wish list. Puppet Lock, self-explanatory. I think that's the card that's for the Puppet Lock. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But yeah, I think that's the gimmick puppet card people were worried about. Branded, I think, is going to be a deck that will slowly, you know, start to see a little more play. So it be interesting to see if uh, the Puppet Lock is still something that does come up. Uh, just depends on the representation, I guess. And then I got all the Floods. Drain, Tikaboo, Rivalry, Goes, and Summon Limit. I'm sure there's a shit ton more, and I literally just forgot them. But you guys all wanted the Floodgates hit. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't see them all getting banned maybe they'll put a couple of them to two from three to two or maybe even put some to one but honestly like the floodgates the only one that i think is really seeing a lot of good play is tikaboo because a lot of the like uh what is it vanquish soul can play it and some other decks can play it but i mean other than that it just you're only going to see them in stun decks and anti-meta decks so it's really hard to say but i did want to be fair and include all your guys's wants but that's it to do it for my ban list prediction you guys i don't know if it's coming out uh, we have a couple weeks left in december then we're going into january i'm calling this january 2024 ban list prediction because i honestly don't think we're going to get it this month this month but maybe in the new year we'll get something uh, with a uh, with the new YCS is uh, starting up as well but hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys like the tier maker approach as opposed to how i usually do it and uh, i'll continue making them like this in the future but that's all i got to say hopefully you guys enjoyed be sure to smash that like button if you did please argue it out in the comment section because i'm sure i missed a lot i'm sure there's a lot of things you guys want touched i'm not touching maxi with a 50 foot pole being a master duel player on the side yeah we don't need maxi <laughs> we just don't need it so uh, i don't want to see it so that's just what i'm to say but argue about it in the comment section down below hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching